Let's take a look at the structural and condensed formula for propane. We'll also look at the molecular model and the skeletal structure. So let's start out propane, that's C3H8. And that's the molecular formula. What that tells us is that we have three carbons and eight hydrogens. It just tells us the number of each type of atom. Prop, that means three, and then ane, that tells us we're gonna have all single bonds, carbon and hydrogen. So we have the molecular formula. Let's write the structural formula. So one way to do this, we could just write the three carbons and they're all single bonded, and then we could put hydrogens around them. And I won't write the hydrogens. So that would be the structural formula, but it would be nice to have some more three dimensionality for this right here, kind of see the bond angles of each of these atoms. When we do that, this is what we get for the structural formula here. So you can see now we can see that bond angle between the carbons there. If we overlay this on this one here, you can see it's pretty much the same thing, except we have a little molecular geometry. It's also helpful to look at a molecular model to really see this here. So here's our propane, three carbons, and the whites, those are the hydrogens. Let's do an overlay on this structural formula for propane. Let me put it up here. Let's flip it over. So you can see how the structural formula here and the model, they're showing you the molecular geometry of the propane molecule. Another way to write this is with a skeletal structure. That would look like this here. The skeletal structure, we have a carbon here and here and here, and we just don't write the hydrogens. Let's do an overlay again, and you can see how that works. Finally, let's do the condensed formula for propane. So the condensed formula, we take this here and we condense it down like this. So we still have our three carbons and our hydrogens are distributed on each one. It's not very condensed since this is propane and it's a small molecule. You might look at a molecule, something larger like hexane, and you could do hexane like this, where instead of just one of the CH2s, this right here, you'd have four. So for hexane, C6H14, this might be a little more condensed. This is Dr. B with the molecular formula, the structural formulas, skeletal formula, and condensed formula for propane, C3H8. Thanks for watching.